Hi everyone, in this video I'll continue discussion about basic concepts in Cantic Monte Carlo. As I've mentioned before, this video is a part of first series of Cantic Monte Carlo where I only discuss the basics. So in the last video I mentioned that the Cantic Monte Carlo has a characteristic that it only considers state to state transitions of a system and ignores the intermediate vibrational states. In this video, I will throw more light on this phenomena and some related concepts. We will cover what are rare events, the concept of state-to-state -state dynamics, the Markov concept, the rate constants and the probability of the next event in Kinetic Monte Carlo, and how the random selection is made. A rare event is defined by crossing of an energy barrier by the system to transit from one state to another. Each state corresponds to a single energy basin where the system spends relatively long time. Once the system acquires sufficient energy to cross the energy barrier, system then moves to another energy basin where it spends subsequent vibrational periods. I will elaborate this further with the help of an example. Here we have an interstitial germanium atom in silicon germanium crystal. The germanium atom stays in interstitial space for some time until it gains energy to knock out another germanium atom from crystal lattice and finally replace it. Here only the knockout event is considered substantial enough to be traced in a kinetic Monte Carlo simulation. We show energy basins with the help of a contour plot. Each energy basin is the potential stable state for the system. When a system enters a state, it minimizes to get to the bottom of energy basin. Here, the system spends long time vibrating until it moves across energy barrier to the next state. By the virtue of the long time a system spends in an energy basin in vibrational mode, it has no memory of how it got there. Therefore, any future event will be independent of the previous state of the system. This concept is characteristic of Markov chain. For a system in state I, probability of its transition from one to another is dependent upon the rate constant of the event. For any event to occur, system has to cross the energy barrier, the probability of which is often given by Boltzmann distribution, as mentioned here, where Kb is the activation energy and Kij is the rate constant for the system to move from state I to J. However, the system has many possibilities of the next event, that is, many energy basins in its neighborhood. Probability distribution for these events is determined and tabulated. Here, the rate constant of Kij and Kil is highest and as such, probability of system going to state J and L are high. Therefore, when an event is picked randomly, most times it is the one with the highest probability. Subsequently, this event is then executed. This is elaborated again in a silicon germanium crystal. There, an initial state I where germanium-14 is an interstitial atom, it has several possibilities of next event. It can either diffuse through lattice space or knock out another lattice germanium. Future events will be independent of its previous history and therefore there is as much possibility of germanium-14 to knock out germanium-17 as much as germanium-5 unless some additional factors are imposed. Randomness is important in Kinetic Monte Carlo. So in the next video, I will start with sample Kinetic Monte Carlo code for Langmuir adsorption. Thank you for watching and subscribe to get the notification for the next upload.